Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about shift registers, specifically serial in serial out shift register, and I will show you the circuit construction and simulation of this specific register. So basically, a shift register is a cascade of flip-flops sharing the same clock in which the output of each flip-flop is connected to the data input of the next flip-flop in the chain, resulting in a circuit that shifts by one position the bitrate stored in it, shifting in the data present at its input and shifting out the last bit in the array at each transition of the clock input. For the circuit construction, basically, the serial in serial out shift register consists of multiple deep flip flops depending on the number of bits the data contains. Let's say we want to store the data 1111, so we will be using 4 flip-flops. Uh, D in is the input data where the data is being stored starting from the least significant bit until the most significant bit. And each output of every flip-flop is connected to the input of the next flip-flop. The clock of every flip-flop is connected in a single terminal. For the initial clock impulse, since the given data input is 1111, the D in is high or in logic 1 for the entire clock impulse count, and all the outputs Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3 will be low, giving us a serial output of 0000. For the first clock impulse, since the data will be stored one bit at a time, the least significant bit will be stored first in the D input, which is in the first JK flip-flop, and the resulting serial output will be 1000. For the second clock impulse, the least significant bit will be shifted to the next flip-flop, while the second significant bit will then be stored in the D input, which will give us a serial output of 1100. For the third clock impulse, the least and the second significant bit will be shifted to their succeeding flip-flop, and the third significant bit will then be stored in the D input and will give us a serial output of 1110. For the fourth and last clock impulse, the least, the second, and the third significant bit will be shifted to their succeeding flip-flop, and the most significant bit will then be stored in the D input which will give us the complete serial output of 1111, which is the given binary data. 